It's here, baby! <laughs> everybody welcome back to another video this is a very special one because what you see behind me is a year and a half worth of work with this baby right here and it's the first time in the u.s and having this car here is very very special well let me show you some of the parts in the car that we did in japan some of the mods that we have to start with we had all pretty much picked out uh z-tune front end so it took a while to find because everything in japan right now is like about two year waiting list for those parts so we sourced it out individually so first i found the bumper then i found the oem fenders the lips the carbon fiber hood this is not a z2 but it's an aftermarket company that make them out there uh, it's kind of like the same look after that we sourced uh, pretty much the brakes rotors uh, these wheels are raised. They're a temporary raise that we have in the part for now until the uh, new wheels come. So guys, Z-Tune is pretty much Nismo part. So at the later years of, of the GTR, on the regular GTR bumpers, you don't have this little insert parts. So this pokes out a little more, as you can see, even more than the GTR. If you look at the fenders from this line on, it's a few inches wider than a regular GTR. A lot of people know about this, but some of you that don't know, you get this little angle right there. So that's the design of Z-Tune. Nismo side skirts. This car originally didn't come with it. So we sourced this out as well and the extensions. Uh, this is original um, OEM uh, Nissan. And this is an aftermarket piece that I found. It kind of flows to the front. You have this little lip here as well. This is aftermarket as well. Sourced that out in Japan. The carbon goes out really well. The original, this original Z, um, the uh, Xenon headlights. So this is hard to find now. It, pretty much everything Nissan right now, they're making in Nismo. And unfortunately they're charging a grip for, depending on what you source out. If you guys have questions, you know, drop a comment below or DM me on it. I'll help you as much as I can. So on the interior, I pretty much wanted to have kind of a, an updated interior. And the very first thing I sourced out was this carbon fiber uh, steering wheel. I wanted something new, the stock wheel. It comes with this piece right here, the airbag part, but it didn't come with carbon, the red stitching to match the car. Then I changed pretty much all of this was old and the plastics on, on these cars, they get old. And I tell you, you can see some of the buttons I had to replace. This piece right here, all these trims are new. Uh, this piece is new. This, crazy enough, $240 part. <laughs> insane for this little piece right here this is in back order as well like this is stuff that you see in nissan you get this piece originally this is a five speed one so we're selling this piece on five speed just like the gtr and mines this i sourced out at mines when i went they have the the sheep food and and this right here we got the heads up display here so this piece here it's also very hard to find this is um, a custom one once i get everything working it will have my logo on it p1 racing is gonna pop on the screen when you start the car which is kind of nice the cluster that's another thing this one has the nismo one that came with it. it's like a gtr style but gtt cluster the nismo logo on it the original if you get a, a, a gtt one doesn't say 300 it's like 180 including the original gtr is 180 kilometers so this one comes with 300 kilometers and it looks a lot more uh updated i guess the whole interior man this is you know there's a few more things that i wanted to do the recaros as well we didn't talk about those this is like probably one of the best seats i've ever gotten you have a recliner is the sr7 or sr10 i could be wrong these are the ones in the video that we yes. you picked up in the video right yes yeah so this is uh, <laughs> We, we fit this on uh, on the back of like an S15 and, and I had to source it out because I found a one, one in Japan at one store and then I had to find the other one. So I found the passenger seat and then I found the driver's seat in another location. So we're just driving back and forth in Japan to, to find and make sure they're the correct seat. So this is like the type of work that people don't see behind the scenes. All these parts, man, it take a lot of work to find them if you're sourcing on your own. So we're almost there. There's a few things that um, I'm definitely waiting for to um, to get a final, but we're, we're getting there. This is pretty much a stock car with a Tomei, and it has a little test bike, so it does sound better. It does a little pops here and there um, when you're redlining the car. 
But yeah, the first stock car feels pretty good. I have the blitz oil, the coil, the coilovers, uh, which kind of like car is a little bit tighter, I would say, in comparison to the Supra. A lot less power than what I have in the Supra right now, but it still feels pretty good for for a stock car. And the sound is all there. The RB thing that people talk about the sound is definitely a thing. It's a lot better on tracks and canyons and stuff like that, but. Car is very very tight, man. But it's a slow car, so don't expect <laughs> to have anything super fast if you're buying a stock GTR and or a GTT. They're about the same power. I think they both come with like 280 horsepower out the box. You see, look, we go 7,000 RPM. It does this little pop. Look. See the pops? This is stock. It was pretty good. It's fast enough. I'm saying it's not. Super fast, but it's a fun car to have stock for, you know? Did you drive it with stock suspension ever? I did, yeah. How, how's it that compare? Like a, it, it felt like a, like a Nissan Maxima. <laughs> That's what it felt like. No exhaust. It does feel like a freaking Altima. Uh, That's <laughs> the best feeling you're going to have. You hear the turbo whistle a little bit, but it, it felt like a stock Nissan Altima. Other than that, the car is, is dope, man. It, it's just... For 1998, which that's what this is, it's, I think at that era, it was a lot of car, you know, if you're driving this and racing, anything else that was out and about, you know, yeah. you're, unless if you had like the old vets, you know, like the old Corvettes, if you're putting head to head with like an American Muscle, you're up there in power, V8 versus this, but I'm not 100% yet on the, on the upgrades, but we're thinking just upgraded turbo, RTAC, exhaust manifold like a good management system and maybe get to like 550 i think it's kind of like where i want to be with this build you know sometimes i'll i just go off the handle man and maybe rb30 that, that's the question i'm still debating on power lab on this car but it's gonna be fun i already have the super that's have you know have a decent power uh, even if i had to keep it stock with just upgraded turbo i wouldn't mind it and, I already have something with a lot of balls. I have all the cars that are fast, but this is definitely a dream come true. Having this car in the US it is definitely a bucket list, um, you know, item for sure, man. Very stoked to have this car here. We're gonna be posting some of the videos with the upgrades that I'm gonna be doing. I'll be taking to some car shows in Cali, so you're gonna see this car all over California, and uh, we're definitely gonna have some fun, so. I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'll see you later, boys. It's here, baby.